How are we guys? Uh, Sick Buffalo here. Thank you for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to talk about the free airlines that fly direct to Bangkok. Uh, British Airways, Eva Air and Thai Air. As you can see from you know other videos that I've placed up, I've flown all three business class uh, in economy, you know, their premium economy, elite class. Um, so I want to tell you guys from my perspective you know what's going to be the best airline you know the seat pitch the width and you know from my experience me being you know six foot three you know quite 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 big in a, in a lot of sense you know but and i'll give you guys a, a breakdown of that so british airways being the first you know a national carrier the new budget airline um I was really shocked with their product. It is not the greatest product in the world. Uh, their, their business class is truly shocking. The time they fly out is, is 11.20 in the morning and it's not a great time to fly. Um, you know, it's sort of the middle of the day, you can't get yourself time sort of zoned out in a lot of sense when you arrive in Bangkok. Um, the business product is poor. Um, you know, there's seats, you're having to climb over people. Uh, in their sort of oblong shaped seats. I'll place a picture up there. Um, but otherwise, the food is okay. The staff, as always, is British Airways. There's always great staff, but you find that with a lot of new airlines. Um, other than that, I'll place a couple of pictures up there and you can view it from yourself. So here we are, the BA Boeing 777-200. Uh, it's got three classes. If you note with economy that the seat pitch is about 31 inches and the width is 17.5 which is you know that's half an inch an inch lower compared to the rest of them for me to get through a flight i need enough food and enough drink preferably an alcoholic beverage so what i tend to do when i'm flying in economy is ask ba for three or four drinks when they're serving their food just because they're not overly generous when giving out the drinks the food isn't great the seat width is the same as I mentioned, and that's British Airways. So, Thai Airways. Um, they're, they're an okay airline, uh, from my perspective. Um, they use the A380s, it's quite a big uh, plane, um, and you can feel it when you take off and land. Um, I feel for myself that there's a lot more pitch and a lot more you know, leg room with regards to economy. Um, there's a lot more economy seats and um, they do have a small section on the upper deck and if you if you are flying Thai Airways in economy try and get on the upper deck um, they don't have a way of securing seats so my advice is you know call the ticket office have a word with the agent and say to them look can you get me on the upper deck when we do seat selection um, their website's pretty basic um, so you know keep that in mind when you when you're booking and Know, go through their website and the options with regards to that. Um, my next thing would be with Thai Airways is the price. Um, what they do, Thai Airways and Eva, they, they compete against each other. Um, so always keep on line, keep on looking online. You know when sales come up, and that's going to be a great opportunity for you guys uh, to basically book something great. Food. Food is going to be more Asian orientated, um, but they do have a small selection with Western food. It's nice. The staff are okay. Um, the business product is, is is actually a pretty good product, um, and basically, it's a good airline to fly with. They do evening flights and they do a daytime flight from London. Um, so keep out for the options um, that you want to choose if you want to finish work on a Friday night and jump on a plane. This is the upper deck of the A380. It's a cracking place to get into, especially when you're flying economy. Um, less turbulence and a great overall experience compared to downstairs because you have a lot more staff drifting through from their business class. This is the A380 800 daytime flight that leaves at 11.50. Um, the pitch is 31 to 32, so you can lean back a bit more. Um, the width 18 compared to 17.5 with British Airways, a half an inch does make a difference. And the most important part of Thai Air, plenty of drink. 
press the button, ask for a drink. Then you can press the button again and ask for another drink. It's one way to get through a long flight, it truly is. So, Eva Air, uh, the third option. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I got basically stuck on these uh, when British Airways cancelled all their flights when their back computer meltdown. And it was the first time I've flown with them. They put me in economy, but on the front row. And um, they fly the 777s, 300s, uh, which is just one level plane. Um, it's, it's a good smooth flight. The so landings are great, the takeoffs are great. It's just something about it. Um, their seats, especially for economy, they can explain it. You can put your feet underneath them more for some reason, which really surprised me. The width on the seat is slightly more. It just feels a bit more comfortable in economy uh, compared to other airlines that I've flown with. Um, their food, you know, Asian and Western, so they do give you a couple of options with regards to that. Um, as you can see from my previous video, it was like the spiced cod or you know, a chicken dish. Was a nice pleasant surprise. Uh, staff, I always found, especially on other airlines, that they sort, of, they sort of stick around all the time. There's always someone floating about. With Eva, they sort of, they disappear. <laughs> They're there, they give you your food, you press the button if you need them, but otherwise you don't really see them rolling about the plane and you know from time to time you can see the odd one, which you know was very rare and especially considering other airlines have someone always wrong about doing something um, the the flight times it's an evening flight um, it's only once a day I believe um, and it's 2135 so about 930 in the evening and I tend to like this time because I can finish work um, get on a train get over to Heathrow that evening I'm flying out it's it's that quick and it's that easy and Heathrow Express straight there Terminal 2 and at the door in a lot of sense. Um, price, they do compete a lot with Thai Air, which is really good. And I always find that either are the most reasonable with economy and their elite class economy plus, the business product is absolutely spot on. Um, lots of leg room, I can lay fully flat, they put a mattress down, um, and I get a lot more for my money. They treat you like a first class passenger uh, with Eva. Which is, which is really nice, you get like a first class pack and it's very much, they're there for you and that's how they treat you. So we've got 33 on the pitch and we've got 18.3 in the width, 0.3 compared to tyre and 0.7, which is nearly an extra inch compared to British Airways, just so they can squeeze an extra seat. So Eva, do the evening flight, that's it. Um, great airline and that's Eva. So I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching. Um, I'm pretty new to this, uh, as a lot of people have guessed. Uh, keep the comments coming. You know, I've had a couple of private emails saying, you know, do this, do that. Maybe put the suction cup uh, on the window after they've sat down. Uh, some some advice for myself. You know, if there's something you want to see uh, or the you know another way of me doing it, please please let me know. Um, but thank you for watching guys, I do appreciate it and uh, I look forward to bringing you some more videos.